This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, rocking the apron. And uh, today we're going to test out the slowest shit, sear uh, product that I was talking about earlier, early in the week. Um, I think I paid about $126 for it. Yeah, that's steep. But in reality, though, for as much aluminum foil as I use for trying to do an indirect cook, um, yeah, I'm going to save myself from burning meat. Uh, like numerous things, so I think it's well worth it, especially uh, because this is a lifesaver. It'll last me forever, man. It'll go past probably the life of the weather. As long as I keep it inside, I keep it in my garage, uh, garage kept. So probably outdo me, outlive me, man. So we're gonna see. So a hundred dollars ain't bad. I mean, uh, giving the product, assuming that it does what they claim it'll do. We're gonna put it to the test today. I think I'm going to do some thighs, yeah, some leg quarters, brother, and test it out, man, just to see what it's capable of doing, man. So stick with me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and light this thing up. I'll show you me lighting it up. Uh, well, not even lighting it up. I'm going to fire up my chimney and then pour the coal in there, let it sit for a while, and let's see how long this thing. I'm not going to do a, a time test on how long it, it lasts today. I'll probably do that when I maybe cook a brisket or a pork butt. I don't do a brisket yet because that, that's a pretty substantial amount of money to waste trying to cook on on this slow and sear if it don't work right. Maybe a pork butt or something like that or something to that effect just to see how long the cold lasts. Or maybe a slab of ribs. But anyway, uh, we'll be back in a minute. I'm going to light this chimney. All right, as you can see, let me give you a close-up. You see the slow and sear? Got it in there. Got my uh, chimney. About to light this up. Let me set my stand down, and then uh, we're just gonna light this thing up, and then go from there. Got my handy dandy lighter. Hit that gas. Oh, just like that. No need to use the uh, the little cubes, Weber cells. I mean, nothing against them. I used to buy them. They were awesome. But I'd have had this this little blue blue torch. For probably about a year and a half now, and uh, still using the same dog on a uh, little tank. Yeah, this thing works like a champ. When I mean tank, I don't know if you can see the fire, but this is the, the, the propane part I'm talking about. I haven't replaced that yet. Let's sit here. These are old charcoal. Uh, fun fact for the day never cook with old charcoal. I know I, I, I'm using them right now, but what I mean by that is. Like when I'm cook, when I'm done cooking, I'll uh, close my lid, close all my vents, saving charcoal, right? But what I'll do is, I won't cook with that because depending on the amount of time between my next cook, which is usually a week, a uh, week to two weeks, what I'll do is, I'll just scramble it all up and pour it in my chimney just to get me a fire going. And you know, by the time I get ready to put my meat on, the old charcoal is already done. So I'm not wasting new charcoal as fuel trying to light the fire. So that's a, that's another fact because you gotta think about it. The flavor of what you've been cooking, meat drippings on, on, on your charcoal and stuff like that will be in your next cook unless you're cooking the same thing. But I wouldn't try it, you know, uh, not with a uh, mold and stuff like that out there and stuff like that. So all I'm gonna do is light this, wait till the fire shoots up, which is another thing. With this, this slowest here, if you get the one with the, uh, the grated pan at the bottom, like I said, um, and I'll show you that real quick. See the grate at the bottom? Which makes it easy for me now, when I'm done with my charcoal, uh, is I can just pick it up and pour it right back into my chimney the next time. Easy convenient for me, instead of me having to use my hands like I did earlier, and scrape all the stuff up and then try to stick it in there. Hands all dirty. So another another good uh, use out of this thing. But uh, we're gonna go from there. We'll light these things and I'll be back. Show y'all how this thing operates. Alrighty. I don't know if you can see or not, but I got fire shooting out the top. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pour these coal in here and mess up this pretty looking uh, stainless steel. Let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Remember, this is old charcoal. So I'm gonna let this sit for a while, just to build up a substantial fire. Ooh, that's good. See how it fits right under that, that groove? 
Yep. Easy day. So I'm gonna let that burn down, come back, pour some coal on there, then put my grate on there, let the old cook cook off. Come with my handy dandy scrubber just to scrub it off. Get it good and clean. Probably wipe it down with canola oil. That's just me. And then I'll uh, go from there, y'all. We'll be back in a little bit. Yes, sir. We'll be back. And uh, I got my new coal on there, as you can see from all the smoke right there. I'm trying to let that burn off. And then uh, it's time to put some meat on there. The grill already cleaned off. Put some of this liquid nitrogen in there into my little pan, right? We're going to start this off right just to see. Yep. See how many cans it takes. Ooh, see that bubbling? Yeah, getting to it. That lets you know that thing getting hot. Hey, that's a good thing. That's a good sign right there. But anyway, I'm gonna fill this up. I'll let you know uh, in the next uh, segment how many cans of this, uh, these, uh, what size is this? I don't even know what size. Anyway, I'll let you know how many cans of uh, alcohol I put in there to uh, see what see what goes on. Let's pour a little bit more. Well, one. Testing out, see if it holds liquid out leaking. Looks like it's doing an awesome job of that. I wish you could smell it. Anyway, we'll be back in a little bit. Get ready to put some meat on there. I'm not gonna show you the whole cook on the meat, um, cause I know you've seen leg quarters before cook. And I think I got a video out there, but uh, I just want to test the product out itself and how it cooks, and uh, go from there. Be back in a little bit. Yes, sir. Here we go with these leg quarters. Remember, when you place them in, in, in any cook, you want to put them with the skin down when you're first cooking them. That way, if anything burns on them, not that they're going to burn this way because I'm doing them slow, but uh, that'll be the first thing to uh, tighten up or get dark. You don't want to burn up your meat. Simple. We'll be back when they're done, man. See what this product... Uh, the slow and sear does for you. All right, y'all, we back. One last time. Show y'all this thing. I had to put a little coal on there. Uh, just a little bit. Now, as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see that chicken. See that? You can see the little coal I added. Just a few. Um, I mean, overall, it works like a champ. I will say you have to stir up, the, stir it up though, just so the ashes to fall through the bottom, because of the tight, tight holes in the uh, the grate. But I don't have a problem with that. Uh, it definitely got hot as I did that. I'm about to take my chicken and just stick it over the uh, sear part and uh, get that tight skin that I want. Everybody loves that tight skin. Yep, that's pretty much it, y'all. I'm gonna get us a. Uh, I don't want the 10, I'm gonna get us about an eight. Just off my first cook. Like I said, remember now, anytime you get a new product, it's gonna take you a while to learn it. Uh, one thing I did learn is I'm not gonna use beer now no more because it stinks after it's uh, been, been burned out. So I've been adding water to it now just to kind of uh, dilute that smell or whatnot. But it's still working like a champ. I definitely got the beer smell of the chicken. I can smell that. Uh, and we're going to go from there. So tell me what you think, man. If you've had better results, uh, or you got a better product out there, comment on it. Let me know so I can uh, try that product. You know, I'm always looking for perfection. You know, we'll never get there, but we'll think we will. Just in case you wonder what this slower sear can do, check it out, y'all. Yeah, jerk chicken. Yep. I'm about to tear this up. Yep. Anyway, this from your boy. Get us a thumbs up, y'all. Get you one.